your banana is huge and radioactive. For me is a plate of deliciously ripe radioactive material that I will soon partake. Yet, it poses absolutely no health risk to me. Let me explain. So recently, I went to the hospital for my annual medical checkup. While I was waiting on the queue for my chest x-ray, I noticed that the computer that was recording the x-ray images was having a problem. One guy was already inside the x-ray room. But because of this computer glitch, the technician kept hitting the x-ray button multiple times. And I thought to myself, there's no way this is safe. So the geek in me naturally decided to take out my phone and Google and see just how much X-ray radiation can be harmful to my body. For anyone curious, the American College of Radiology recommends limiting lifetime diagnostic radiation exposure to about 10,000 chest X-rays. So that guy is probably safe. Somehow the randomness in my brain connected all this to radioactive bananas. So enjoy. The world's most popular fruit that is botanically actually classified as a berry, don't argue with me, I'm a botanist, is mildly radioactive. Bananas are not the only radioactive foods that we eat. Some foods can contain radioactive elements in them. The best known examples are bananas and Brazilian nuts. But should you be worried? You can keep the hazmat suits away. Calm down, let me put things in perspective. First, how do these foods become radioactive? Where do they get these elements from? Well, of course, they absorb these elements from the soil. Some plants have something called bioaccumulation, where they absorb certain substances and store them within themselves and accumulate them at a higher concentration inside their tissues than inside the soil. I am sure you've been told to eat bananas because bananas contain a high level of potassium, right? Naturally occurring potassium has three isotopes, potassium 39, potassium 40, and potassium 41. Isotopes are atoms of the same element that have a different number of neutrons. So potassium 39 has 20 neutrons, potassium 40 has 21 neutrons, and potassium 41 has 22 neutrons. The numbers 39, 40, and 41 are their mass numbers which is the sum of the protons and the neutrons inside their nucleus. Sorry for the revision of high school chemistry here. The chemistry that you hated so much in high school has come back to haunt you. Well, potassium, particularly potassium-40, has a small portion that is radioactive, approximately 0.012%. Potassium-40, even the one inside the banana, spontaneously decays to release beta particles or electrons and gamma rays. Both of these two types of radiation have the ability to damage tissues within our bodies. There are four main categories of radiation, the alpha rays, the beta rays, the gamma rays, the x-rays and the neutron rays. The intensity of their power visualized in the form of the materials that, that can block them. The gamma rays and the x-rays have the highest penetrative power but all these types of radiation are ionizing. Ionizing radiation means that these particles have the power to knock off electrons from the energy levels around atoms. Potassium-40 has a very long half-life of about 1.3 billion years, meaning that only a few atoms of potassium-40 decay every second inside the banana. Each banana emits about 0.1 microsieverts of radiation. Is this a lot? Not really. To put this into context, you would need to eat about 100 bananas to get the same amount of radiation that you get from natural radiation exposure in the environment. A typical adult like me contains about 140 grams of potassium, meaning that I have 280 times more potassium inside my body than inside this banana. I am more radioactive than the banana. I am definitely not as radioactive as this guy, the radioactive boy scout. His real name was David Charles Han. Han is an American boy who in the early 2000s conducted secret experiments in his home to make a homemade neutron source. 
He was only 17 years old at that time and he was trying to demonstrate that he could make a homemade breeder reactor, essentially a nuclear reactor in his backyard. He was later discovered by the police, badly injured by radiation poisoning, and he died at the young age of 39 on September 27, 2016. His story is actually published in a book titled The Radioactive Boy Scout. This guy was definitely not playing around with bananas. His home had to undergo a professional nuclear deep clean to remove many years of accumulated nuclear material. Don't try this at home, kids. Now, back to the bananas. Eating one banana would only increase the amount of potassium inside my body by 0.4%. Eating just one banana doesn't change the amount of potassium in my body by that much. That's because the human body likes to do this little thing called homeostasis, where it keeps the internal environment of the body at a constant state of balance. Actually, a physically larger person has more potassium in their body than a smaller sized person. Therefore, you get a larger radiation dosage from just sitting or sleeping next to a person because the radiation that they emit doesn't just come from the potassium decay in their body, but it also comes from the carbon-14 in their breath. Think about that the next time you spend a night with someone in bed. The next question I would ask is, is there an actual risk of eating bananas? How much danger do they pose to my health? This is a question that bothered some scientists so much that they created the banana equivalent dosage, BED, which is an informal measurement of ionizing radiation exposure intended as a general education example to measure dosages of radiation. Yes, this is a real unit used by real scientists. So how many bananas do I need to eat to get a deadly dosage of radiation? The answer is about 10 million bananas. Now, I don't know about you. I don't think I can eat 10 million bananas in one sitting. For you to even get radiation sickness symptoms, you would need to eat about 274 bananas every day for seven straight years. So what have we learned from all this? Bananas are radioactive, but you are 280 times more radioactive than they are. You would need to eat about 10 million bananas to get a lethal dosage of radiation from bananas. Eating about 274 bananas every day for seven years straight will cause you to get radiation sickness symptoms. Links to all my sources are in the description. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Thank you for coming along. This is the African scientist exploring science from an African perspective. And until next time, go bananas about bananas.